Good morning, Pine Bay Patriots. Today is a wonderful, wandering Wednesday, April 13th. Today is early release day. Today we get out of school two hours earlier. Girls on the run team members, remember, there is no practice today because of early release day. Practice will resume tomorrow. Coach Harris will see you then. Mrs. Greco is back on this wandering Wednesday to remind you about last week's Wondering Wednesday question about wind. Here she is. Hey Patriots, Miss Greco for your next episode of Wondering Wednesday. This week's Wondering Wednesday comes from Tegan in Miss Epifanio's class. Check out this video to see what topic Tegan has a question about. There's an invisible force shaping our lives, affecting the weather, climate, land, economy, and whether a flag looks majestic or just kind of sits there. I'm talking, of course, about the wind. Large parts of the globe are brought warmth and water thanks to wind. In Europe, wind energy is one of the most popular renewable energies, thanks to wind turbines that harness its power. Ships with sails have followed the path of the wind for centuries, bringing trade and entire empires along with them. Fierce winds can also bring destruction, stripping soil away from the ground or even ripping apart buildings. Trying to protect ourselves from the wind might feel like we're battling an imaginary foe, but wind is definitely not imaginary. Geographers have defined it and have tools to measure it. All right, Patriots, hopefully you figured out that Tegan's question has to do with wind. She wants to know where wind comes from. I think there might be some fifth graders who know the answer to Tegan's question. Remember to use a source. You can talk to an expert, maybe a fifth grader, use the internet, or even read a book. Let me know what you find out about where wind comes from so we can share it with Tegan. Don't forget to let me know what other questions you have and would like to explore on Wondering Wednesday. Have a great day, Patriots. Thanks, Mrs. Greco. Patriots, remember to submit your answers to Mrs. Greco before next Wednesday. Don't forget to cite your source. Today is National Make Lunch Count Day. Taking a break from work day improves productivity. Leaving your desk for two to 30 minutes to refill also reinvigorates your creative juices. Our brains and bodies need the daily break. When you return, you'll be refreshed and ready for new ideas and to whatever challenges are thrown your way. Patriots, let's see what you can look forward to for your lunch break today. <coughs> today for lunch, we are having PB&J to-go box, smoothie combo, or hamburger, or cheeseburger. Vegetable and fruit choices are Popeye side salad, sweet savory fries, fresh sliced apples, pineapple bites, or juice. And don't forget your milk and utensils. It's birthday time. <coughs> Happy birthday to Addison D. in Mrs. Bowen's class, Adeliska V. in Mrs. Bird's class, and a very special birthday shout out to our very own Mrs. Keene. Happy birthday, Mrs. Keene. We hope you have a fabulous day. The Spring Carnival is coming. Games, food, bounce houses, and more. Mark your calendars for Friday, April 22nd. Come and have fun with your friends, playing games, and winning prizes. Tickets are on sale now. You can purchase tickets online or at the carnival. Okay, Patriots, it is that time. We need to wrap this show up. Time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, then please be seated for a moment of silence. Have an awesome Wondering Wednesday. Make sure to make lunch count today. And remember, we are living the questions by feeding our passions and exploring our wonders. Bye. Bye.